Hello everyone! We are going through the Bible to find the importance of Christmas. Today's block is a picture of a fish. It looks kind of like a whale. Jonah was another one of God's prophets, and on most days he loved his job. He would ask God what he wanted to say to his people, and then he'd march around giving them the good news. But one day, God told Jonah to go on a journey longer than he'd ever been on before. God told Jonah to tell the people of Nineveh that God knew of their sin and all the wrong things that they were doing, and to tell them about how they should be living according to God's word. Now, Jonah had grown up thinking of the people of Nineveh as bad people. So Jonah decided to go his own way. He looked at a map and saw that Nineveh was way off to the right. So Jonah decided that if Nineveh was to the right, he was going to go left. And that way, he wouldn't have to tell the people of Nineveh about their wrong deeds. So Jonah went left, way left. He hopped on the first boat he could find and made sure it was going away from Nineveh. So as the little boat pushed away from the shore, Jonah fell asleep, very happy with himself. But God was not happy with Jonah. So God followed Jonah. He was with him, even when Jonah didn't listen to God, even when Jonah went the wrong way, and even when Jonah hated the people that God loved, God was still with him. Because God was with Jonah, he couldn't let Jonah keep running away. So he sent a big storm to stop the boat. The waves were high, the wind was loud, and Jonah in this little boat woke up with a thought that God was still with him, and he knew that he'd made a mistake. So Jonah told the others on the boat that the storm was his fault. It was because he was running away from what God had told him to do. And the only way to stop the storm was to throw Jonah overboard. Now the sailors weren't so sure, but the waves kept getting bigger and the wind kept getting louder, and so they finally agreed, and Jonah went overboard. And to everyone's surprise, it worked. The waves stopped, the winds were silent, and that was good news for the sailors. Jonah, on the other hand, probably thought he was going to die, but God was still with him. And God sent a giant fish to swallow him. And suddenly Jonah looked around in his warm, dark, stinky place and realized that he was safe. Even if it wasn't a fish's belly, which is probably a pretty icky place to be. So when the fish spit Jonah out three days later, Jonah found himself on land and he had a much different attitude. Jonah had done a lot of thinking and praying in the belly of the fish, so he repented and asked God to forgive him for running away and disobeying, and God was going to give him a second chance. So Jonah went to Nineveh. He realized that God's promise to send a savior was for everyone, and if God gave him a second chance, then the people of Nineveh should probably get a second chance too. So the picture of the fish reminds us how God protected Jonah, even when he disobeyed, and then how God gave Jonah another chance to do the right thing. Even when we disobey, God still loves us, and He waits for us to truly repent for our sin. When we truly repent, it's more than just saying we're sorry for our actions, but it's also making an effort to change that behavior. Jonah ran away and disobeyed God, and it wouldn't have meant very much if he just said sorry and then still refused to go to Nineveh to deliver God's message. But Jonah repented and felt remorse and that he was sorry for what he had done, and then he did what was right. Jonah's story reminds us that God forgives us over and over and over again, but it also reminds us that true repentance involves a change of heart, attitude, and actions. Tomorrow, we are going to talk about how God's people finally head home. See you tomorrow!